Uh, my name is Raj and I am a core contributor to the Litmus project and also a software engineer at Chaos Native. Uh, so uh, these days I am working uh, in the Litmus portal. Uh, so Litmus portal is a web-based portal uh, of Litmus Chaos project uh, where you can schedule workflows, uh, connect to target and uh, monitor your workflows and a uh, few other features uh, you can see. So uh, in this uh, session, I'll uh, talk about Litmus CTL first and then moving towards, uh, we have GitOps. So let's uh, go to the Litmus CTL. So we just released uh, our 2.0 beta one. Uh, so in that uh, beta one, uh, we have uh, uh, Litmus CTL as a feature where uh, Litmus CTL is used as a default a uh, default tool to connect to external cluster. Uh, you can say external, uh, external targets. So I'll be showing how to connect your external target. Uh, so uh, currently we are supporting these platforms. You can download uh, on your particular system. Uh, like Mac OS, we recently supported the Litmus Cetal for Mac OS. So I am having the Litmus Cetal installed in my system. So uh, also I have uh, installed Litmus Portal in one of my GKE cluster. Uh, I already installed, so you can see uh, some of the pods, which are which is Litmus Portal Frontend Server and MongoDB, and uh, this is the deployment. Uh, so I'll be connecting one of my target, uh, which is Minikube, with this GKE cluster. Minimize this one. Okay. So, uh, so for connecting external targets or external cluster, you just have to click on this button where you will get some information. So the information is uh, you have to download Litmus CTL. So I have already downloaded the Litmus CTL and you have to perform this command. So let's go and set up for Minikube cluster. Uh, let me show you my Minikube cluster. It's a single node uh, cluster. You can see it's a Minikube. So I'll be running this command. So it is asking for the URL. Uh, so it, the URL will be this one. So my password is admin. Sorry, my username is admin and password is Litmus, which is the default uh, username and password for the Litmus portal. And here uh, I have to select a project. Uh, currently you can see here, uh, my project is uh, my project, the name is my project. So I have to select that project. And uh, we have two modes of installation. Uh, one is lit, uh, one is the cluster mode and one, another one is the litmus. So cluster mode has some other privilege permission. And in case of lit, uh, namespace, we have uh, reduced some permission in the RBAC. So I'll go with the cluster mode. And uh, I have to name my external agent. That is my new agent and description is also my new agent. So I have to select the platform. My platform is uh, Minikube, so I will select others. So uh, currently I don't have any existing namespace. Let me create a namespace. I will already create, okay. My Litmus and my service account will be Litmus. So here's the summary of all my installation, uh, which, will, which is uh, the namespace is Litmus, service account is also Litmus, and name and description. I will go ahead and install the, so it will install uh, some resources. Uh, it will take some time. So you can see in the target section also, it is now in pending state. So once it installed, uh, it will go to the active state. Now you can see my, my new agent is in active state. So now I can schedule any kiosk uh, workflow in my cluster. So you just go and schedule a kiosk just like that uh, new agent. And I'll be scheduling a pod delete experiment. So I'll targeting one application that is Nginx, uh, which is already present in my cluster. If I can show you application so this is a nginx application normal nginx application 
and here we have to tune some uh, environment variables that is uh, it is in default namespace and my label is app equals to my nginx it's a deployment and testing check is false and i will reduce some cross duration 20 seconds and i'll go ahead and so it will show the gist of the manifest and I'll, i can assign the and i'll schedule it So you can see it is in running state and if you yeah you can see my workflow has been scheduled in the cluster there is a custom kiosk workflow in so it will take some time so uh, at that time uh, let's move toward the gitops feature which uh, we have uh, recently in the 2.0 beta 1 and let's move toward that feature okay uh, so gitops uh, is uh, a new feature which we release in uh, in our current release. Uh, so it's uh, it is of two type. Uh, currently, uh, one is the front end GitOps, another one is the back end GitOps. The front end GitOps is basically you connect your portal with uh, any of your Git repository, and portal will sync all your workflow manifests with that Git repository. And uh, you can uh, add you can change in directly in the git also uh, the changes will be reflected to the portal db also and for the backend gitops uh, we have uh, something called event tracker which i'll explain later in the session so let's go with the gitops one so for gitops you have to uh, set up a repository uh, so that the portal will uh, so that portal will uh, push all your workflows to that git repository so i'll go ahead and create a repository And it should be, you can make it private, public, it's up to you. Uh, but you have to give the token, access token and other uh, mode of authentication. So I've created one uh, Git repository. Uh, so I'll set up this repository with, uh, I already set up, but I'll edit this one and set up for this new repository. And this is the Git URL and this is the main. Uh, so I'll be connect, I'll be authenticated uh, with SHS. So I'll copy this SHS token. Save it in my deploy keys. I'll give the right access. So if I go ahead and update it, so it uh, so it is successfully updated my GitOps. So it will push some uh, some metadata that is the project ID. You can see it is just pushed 12 seconds ago. So it will push uh, some metadata that is uh, the folder called this one, uh, which is the project ID. If you can uh, see, this is a project ID. Inside project ID, we can have multiple man manifest. So uh, this is just a metadata. So I'll show you how this will work, the GitOps. So I'll schedule one workflow again. So then I'll, um, the, our previous workflow has been succeeded, you can see. I'll go ahead and schedule a workflow. Menu agent, same pod delete experiment. And deployment. And I'll go ahead and schedule it. So once I schedule, uh, so it will push some commit uh, if I refresh my browser. So it will push uh, the workflow. You can see workflow has been pushed. 13 seconds ago. The workflow has uh, all the information uh, about your like uh, about a cluster ID, workflow ID, what kind of experiment you are running, 
and all your chaos experiment engines so uh, so that it is a single source of truth it if i edit in this workflow it will sync back to the portal db so it's totally gitops way of doing chaos engineering and uh, so you can see my workflow is running so this is the front end gitops uh, which i was talking about so all your workflow artifact will be sync with the git repository and second one is uh, the back end gitops so this is uh, a dag so which is having some steps so this is currently running i'll show a succeeded workflow so you can see this is the succeeded one and uh, here you can see there are a uh, few steps that is the installation step and pod delete experiment actual experiment and revert chaos if i click any of the node i can see the information when it started and when it uh, ended and the duration of that uh, particular step i can see the logs also currently uh, we have reverted the chaos that's why logs are not available if you remove the revert chaos part you can see the logs and this is the overall uh, description of the workflow the total duration it uh, took to run that is 2 minute 2.2 minutes start time and end time you can uh, yeah, that has the click on pod delete and okay this one apparently okay. logs are but that is not there in that one but it will be there for the pod succeed yeah you can see the chaos result which is uh, completed phase is completed and what it is pass so uh, for the backend gitops i already presented uh, in chaos carnival so let me go through the slides and explain what is backend gitops okay so uh, before going to the backend gitops so uh, let me explain a few types of chaos injection that is uh, the manual way of doing chaos injection where you just run the workflow or run the chaos experiment it will target your application and do some chaos engineering and the second way is uh, the schedule one which you schedule a particular date and time and the chaos will run at that particular time interval and the next one is random injection where you don't specify any time and and it will uh, inject uh, at a random interval of time or at a random time so you don't know when it will schedule so this is uh, the random injection and we have seen uh, C, uh, in chaos has been integrated as a ci cd pipeline uh, sorry as a chaos stage in the ci cd pipeline uh, so earlier it was uh, like build test and push now some of the projects like uh, uh like captain and sorry captain and cnf uh, conformance uh, they they are integrating chaos as a stage as a pipeline stage where after build and test uh, they do some chaos on their application and based on that result they are moving towards the next uh, mo moving towards the next stage the next one which we just introduced is the event driven chaos engineering so in event driven chaos engineering we are uh, looking or tracking some application and based on that application change suppose i have changed i am changing something in the application spec based on those changes it will trigger the chaos so let me go to the architecture diagram so uh, right now if you install litmus portal uh, so there is a two part of litmus portal one is the external cl external cluster this is the external cluster and this is the cluster where litmus portal is installed so in external cluster if you uh, now install litmus portal or connect your agent it will install a pod called event tracker which is responsible for the backend uh, tops so which will track all your application changes uh, like if you have uh, let me go to this slide suppose uh, this is my uh, external cluster and i am tracking a web app application okay so event tracker will uh, uh, look uh, continuously in this uh, uh, application if my suppose if my application if my image tag change from v1 to v2 then it automatically got triggered and inform the server about the changes and the server will try to schedule a chaos on the particular cluster so uh, before uh, like event tracker is not tracking all the application you have to annotate the application 
uh, with these annotations like GitOps two and the workflow ID. Workflow ID. I'll explain what is workflow ID. Uh, so uh, I'll just go to a directly demo. And uh, if I go to my Git repository, uh, every workflow has a workflow ID. So we have to put, uh, we have to copy this workflow ID and annotate it with that application so that whenever the application change, it will pick this particular workflow uh, with this workflow ID. That that is uh, what workflow ID. And I'll show a demo, quick demo. So I have an application called Nginx, right? Uh, so I'll annotate this application with GitOps uh, tool. Let me, hopefully my screen is visible. Yes. I'll annotate that application. I think I already annotated. And I'll annotate the application with the workflow ID also. I'll run the same workflow. Uh, I can pick any workflow from the repository. I think I have scheduled two workflows. Okay, that was before the tops. So I'll copy uh, this workflow ID and annotate the application with that workflow ID. So uh, if you can see my event tracker is in running state. This is the event tracker and I'll log the event tracker. So currently it is uh, just started and I'll make some changes in the deployment of Nginx. Suppose uh, okay, this is the image. Suppose I am changing the image tag from the latest to 1.19. So I'm going to save it. So once I save it, you can see the logs, uh, the event tracker track those changes. That is the my Nginx deployment and it will inform the server and server got notified. You can see the acknowledgement ID, that is workflow ID. And uh, if I see in my portal, now it got just uh, schedule. You can see my uh, workflow just schedule. It, it is taking from the uh, Git repository and try to schedule on that same cluster where uh, wherever the request is coming. So you can see the targets, uh, my new targets, uh, which is which is the new target which I created uh, before GitOps uh, using Litmus CTL. So it will take some time. So now it is in installation mode. So that is all about GitOps. Uh,